Hello family, today is October the 1st, 2017, and I have come on to prepare my Sunday supper. What am I fixing on today? Well, I am making a bacon wrapped meatloaf. We're going to put some red pepper, some onion, some breadcrumbs, a couple eggs, two packs of the Lipton uh, beefy onion soup mix, a little Worcester sauce, and we're going to season with seasoned salt and black pepper. We are also going to make two boxes of chicken and mushroom rice -aroni. We're also going to have some broccoli and cheese. We have two packs of the uh, broccoli cuts, and we're going to use some ragu double cheddar cheese with um, some mild cheddar as well. So, let's get get started. Okay, this is a five pound uh, chub of ground beef, but I'm not going to cook that much, so I'm going to cook about more of about a four pound. So let's cut off a little bit of this, and we're just going to freeze it for something else. My knives just aren't the sharpest, but they work. And then These vegetables were frozen, so still working with them, but yeah, they have been frozen, so.
We're going to put these in what? We're going to put these in our compost pile. It's still kind of frozen in spots. So we gotta kind of work with it a little bit so we can just kind of pull it apart and get it ready for seasoning. Okay, we're going to take our pepper and onion. And soup mix. We're going to take two eggs. We're going to take some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to take some bread. Gonna take some seasoning salt. Some black pepper. And a small can of tomato sauce. Wash your hands thoroughly once again.
<laughs> I'm such a Virgo. I'm such a perfectionist. <laughs> okay. So once you get it covered on the front, then what we're going to do is we're going to tuck the excess bacon in between the meat and the bottom. So the bacon won't sit just on the bottom. We're going to tuck it in the, like sandwich it within the ground beef. So you're going to have to lift some of it up, tuck it in there like so. Perfect. Now let's get it in the oven. We're going to cook it on the bottom oven. I have another bag in the freezer. I think I'm going to cook all three. Yeah, let me get the other bag out the freezer. Now, this um, little gadget here is for steaming your fruits and vegetables. This is what it looks like. And it's like a steamer tray or rack, if you will. And it opens and closes like such. And you simply place it here. You open it up. And now we're going to lay our broccoli inside of it like so and what it does is it keeps the vegetables from touching the bottom of the saucepan but it has holes all through it to allow the circulation of the steam to go through the vegetables far more efficiency I just simply love this thing it's a good gadget to have in your kitchen We're going to start off by putting some black pepper. And some seasoned salt.
We'll add our butter once this has uh, steamed down. Then we'll add the butter. Oh, wow. It looks so good and it smells so good too. We're going to add some chopped onions. Now we can allow these guys to steam down a bit. This grease is simply some grease that I had from uh, the french fries last night. So I just took a ladle, took some of it out, and we're just reusing some grease that we already have. So we're also going to take our rice aroni and we're going to begin to fry it. Now, one thing about rice aroni, um, if you scorch it and burn it, it does not taste the same. So you have to stay on top of this while you're cooking it. So I wouldn't advise you to, you know, steer too far away from it. Because once it's burnt, this doesn't taste the same. So, let's cook this down a bit. Now we're going to add two and a half cups of water. We simply doubled our quantity because we made two boxes and I believe it was one and two thirds of a cup of water to each box. So, and then I believe it was like a half a cup or so of milk, something to that degree. But. After making it for a while, you kind of can eyeball it and know exactly, you know, when you're off or you're close. We're going to let that boil this same way for about another, say, three minutes, and then we're going to just cut it off and allow it to simmer the rest of the way. Now I'm going to cut it off. You want to ensure that um, your water level stays accurate enough to where it doesn't burn. So, And as you can see, I'm pouring it on the side because I don't want to pour it directly on top of my broccoli because it will just be rinsing off my seasoning and I don't want to do that. Uh, thus, the reason also that we don't add uh, butter just yet is because as it's steaming, yes, we want our seasonings to uh, steam inside of our broccoli. We also want our onions to steam inside of the broccoli, the taste of it. But we don't want to add any butter at this point in time because if there is any extra um, fluid left, then therefore we'll be pouring the butter off and we don't want to do that. So once this has completely steamed, then, um, and you could put a fork through the stems of your, of your broccoli and it's soft. Then if there's any fluid left, then you want to 
pour off the fluid do not rinse the broccoli at all because you'll be rinsing off of the flavor just simply pour off the water and then you begin um, putting your cheese and seasoning it to taste I let it go about another say mm, 10 minutes and then I'm just gonna cut it off and allow it to simmer the rest of the way oh that looks good that looks really good don't remove your lid that often because you want it to uh, simmer so I've removed some of the heat because I simply needed to assess it but I won't remove it anymore until it's completely done Hey, Egypt. My baby is texting me. I'm gonna call you in just a few bits. Okay, so now we can take this rack out of there now. And now we be we can begin to put our cheese on it.
Your remaining cheese in your jar, you want to store this in the refrigerator because it will spoil in your cupboard. Family, I'd like to introduce you guys to a new uh, product. Uh, this is called a trivet. This um, protects your countertop, your tables, from your hot uh, dishes coming from your oven or your cooktop. It is recessed with bumpers on the bottom and you just simply set it here and you put your hot uh, dish on top of it. You smell dinner, Egypt? <laughs> my dog. She's congregating around, I tell you that. From my home to yours, bon appetit, family. Thank you for watching. Good night.